The SPCA in Lakeland is seeing a growing trend of people dropping off unwanted cats or dogs and leaving them at their front door. The worst part, they're doing it when no one is around. Orion Raish explains why and the options available to help. The puppy was right here on our welcome mat in the, in the box. The overnight deliveries no longer surprised the team at SPCA Florida. The one they stumbled upon this morning was labeled stray puppy. Taped up nice and tight inside a small cardboard box. Hold on, baby. Oh. The roughly 10-week-old puppy was out of food and water, and there's no telling how long he was trapped in the Florida heat. This is obviously not the way we want to receive our pets. In this case, it worked out. After she got rehydrated, the little pup and her pink nails cheered right up. But the surprise drop-offs are becoming a recurring and unsettling issue. Unfortunately, it's becoming pretty regular, like I'd say at least twice a week. So it's, it's pretty tough to see. The SPCA says many times owners feel embarrassed or guilty surrendering their pets the right way by making an appointment. If they don't have space, there are other options besides dumping your animals. Last week, someone found Kit Kat abandoned with a rope around its neck tied to a tree. She's recovering from a deep neck wound. There's, there's no reason to ever be ashamed of not being able to take care of a pet. It's actually pretty responsible when somebody seeks other alternatives. Since this puppy was marked as a stray, it'll be held for a few days before going up for adoption. We're so glad you're out of that box, too. She's already become somewhat a poster pup of reckless surrendering. Yes, I can see where we're thinking it's a good idea, where it's a, where it's a well, we're going to try and give them better life coming to the SPCA, and at least that half of the logic is okay. But the delivery method really puts us at a big risk. In Lakeland, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.